Unix daemons are not demonic. I'm actually honestly surprised that the topic doesn't come up more, and I haven't really seen it come up a whole lot on YouTube. Which is why I thought I would address it, because even when I first started getting into, back into tech, I actually had a thought cross my mind of, was calling services in uh, Linux daemons a jab at Christians? <clears throat> well, no, I will say categorically, it is absolutely not. So, why don't you just sit back, relax, maybe grab a cup of coffee, and I'm going to take you on a short walk of why daemons in Unix are called daemons. The term daemon in computing was first used by Fernando Corbato, forgive my pronunciation, in 1963. And where he said he got it from is a thought experiment called Ahia Maxwell's Demon. Maxwell's Demon is a thought experiment I will get into in a minute, because I think that clarifying what it means will shed light on this mystery here. It's worth noting that Maxwell himself never actually used the term demon, but instead the name Maxwell's Demon actually comes from a article in the 19, 1874 edition of Nature by Lord Kelvin, where even Lord Kelvin himself implies that the term Maxwell's demon, the demon in it has nothing to do with demons in Christianity. So I'm going to quote a brief description of Maxwell's demon here. If we conceive of a being whose faculties are so sharpened that he can follow every molecule in its course, such a being whose attributes are essentially finite as our own would be able to do what is impossible for us. For we have seen that molecules in a vessel full of air at uniform temperature are moving with velocities by no means uniform, though mean velocity of any great number of them arbitrarily selected is almost exactly uniform. Now let us suppose that such a vessel is divided into two portions, A and B by a division in which there is a small hole, and that being who can see the individual particles opens and closes the hole, so as to allow only the swifter molecules to pass from A to B, and only the slower molecules to pass from B to A. He will thus, without expenditure of work, raise the temperature of B and lower that of A in contradiction to the second law of thermodynamics. Now, I'm not a physicist, so, I cannot comment on the thought experiment directly, but I hope this makes things clearer that what we see a demon in our daemon in Unix is actually a reference to Greek mythology. So I'm going to quote Mythopedia on daemons in Greek mythology. In the world of Greek religion and mythology included beings whose exact relationships to gods and mortals is difficult to define. Such beings were most commonly called daemons, a broad term that encompasses various creatures with various functions. Daemons existed alongside other supernatural or divine beings that were sometimes described as spirits or phantoms. And continuing, a daemon could be many things. In the most general sense, as implied by the meaning of the name, daemons <clears throat> were regarded as divine beings who oversaw and doled out the destinies of human beings. They came to represent change in fortune, good or bad, though they were mostly associated with misfortune and death, but their nature, attributes, and significance also changed over time. While it is true that later concepts of the term daemon would become synonymous with the Christian idea of a demon, I think it is clear that is not is in what is in reference here with Maxwell's demon. Maxwell's demon clearly references the older classical concept of a daemon from classical Greek mythology. And, in my opinion, this is why Corbato drew the connection and called it daemons instead of following Kelvin's naming of Maxwell's demon. To a uh, further drive home this point, this is what a daemon is in Unix according to the Linux man page. A daemon is a service that runs in the background and supervises the system or provides functionality to other processes. Traditionally, daemons are implemented following a scheme originating in sysv Unix. Modern daemons should follow a simpler yet more powerful scheme, here called new style daemons, as implemented by system D. So I think from what daemons are in Unix, what Maxwell's daemon is, what daemons are in Greek mythology, and even Lord Kelvin's 1874 article in Nature, it's pretty safe to conclude that the term daemons and the naming daemons in Unix has nothing to do with demons in Christianity and actual demons. Instead, what it comes from is a very long-standing tradition in the West of taking our names for scientific and technological concepts 
from either the classics or European mythology. And I'm going to be honest with you, I that is a tradition that I, as a Christian, actually will stalwartly defend. I don't think we should change that at all. I think that's a good thing. And I think it's a great thing that we continued it. Like, for example, in the naming of the planets, how we called Neptune, Neptune, and Uranus, Uranus. Those names are from Roman paganism. So I hope this clarifies for you that, in conclusion, no. It's got the name Daemons and Eunuchs has literally nothing to do with demons at all. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and pray every day.